Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome to the next Channel 5 Gaming Coaster Contest. This is the Planko Coaster Contest. While the name sounds kind of generic, <laughs> it's all about Planko. So let's dive right on into it and explain exactly what this entails. For this contest, we want to see exciting coasters themed around your choice of a Planko shop. We also want to see a cute shop placed somewhere in the front of your coaster. It could be a part of your entrance sign, something the guests visit after after they exit or tucked in between the queue and the exit. Unlike the Planko mascot shop contest, we are not restricting you to the mascot, but instead the shop. So this means the following non-mascot options are now available. Hot Dog Squad, Missy Goods, Mexilente, Monster Freeze, Pip Shop, Pizza Pen. Uh, you could technically also design a coaster around the tertiary shops such as First Aid, Hats Fantastic, Information, Just a Momento, and Looney Bloons. And of course, your primaries are still available such as Chief Beef, Cosmic Cow, Gulpy, Street Fox, Coffee, and Tiki Cheeky. The focus of this contest is to design a 4K placeable blueprint coaster while making sure your theme matches your shop perfectly. When designing your coaster, think about your shop's colors, your shop's characteristics, and what type of coaster would fit nicely into the theme. Keep in mind, we'll be writing these in test mode and will not be setting up queues. So please make sure your queues are as pretty as possible knowing they won't have pathing. Maybe consider placing your own floors in so that this doesn't look like invisible floating queues. All right, guys, let's jump into some examples of what it is we're looking for here. So an example here would be like a Missy Goods Donut Dive Coaster, a high diving dunking dive coaster incorporated Incorporate nice pinks and browns into your track, build donuts, chocolate fountains, or diving pools. Maybe add in your own basic shaped sculpture of Missy Goods herself. Maybe the station itself could be built into a donut factory with a chocolate garden out front for the queue. Hot Dog Squad Steel Vengeance, a bold strong steel hybrid coaster. Incorporate bold oranges and blacks into your track, build hot dogs, ketchup and mustard bottles, squad patrol vehicles, etc. Maybe the station out front is a police academy with a studio's DLC stunt show around the main queue. Pip Shop Water Cascade, a nice fun splash coaster to cool off with this summer. Nice vibrant blues and white colors. Lots of water effects. Maybe the station and queue is a water park or public swimming pool with a nice water show out front for the queue. First Aid Spinning Coaster, a coaster designed to make you throw up with a nice little medical center right out at the exit. Ensure you feel better before you leave. First Aid has some luscious teal colors and white, making for a very pretty coaster design. Another thing you could do here is build it around a hospital if you so choose. Some pretty cool ideas there. Um, I have a whole bunch of examples that we've seen on Channel 5 Gaming as spotlights throughout the uh, the years and this is kind of my inspiration. I wanted to see more of this stuff. So be sure to go check these, click these links and check out the videos. Uh, that We had seen a Tiki Cheeky Barcast. I really loved that coaster. The Cosmic Cow Chemical Plant. That was a great design as well. I did the Chief Beef Raceway if you guys remember that Riddler did the Foxy's racing jammy did the pizza pen raceway so all the raceway tracks are possibility here if you guys want to kind of continue on that and elaborate and do those sprint 500s we also seen a, a pip shop raceway so four raceways right there what other raceways haven't we seen feel free to do them and then there's also this really nice Mexican style Mexalente coaster that I threw in there so definitely think about your shop style and how it can incorporate into a theme with the colors obviously Mexalente could make for a really good Mexican vibe coaster. But with the other things like Cosmic Cow, you could go sci-fi, you could go fantasy. So we're not really restricting your theme, guys. We want you to kind of come up with your own. Tiki Cheeky seems like it'll be a jungle adventure thing. That That's going to be what we're looking for. But can you put your own spin on it? Contest rules, guys. Uh, the contest will run from May 7th today to June 1st, which gives you technically uh, four weeks, one submission per member. You must upload between May 7th and June 1st, 11.59 PST is the end date so we can judge these on the weekend submissions must be a single 4k bla placeable blueprint uh, you must use a coaster or the blueprint no track rides or go-karts uh, any coaster is allowed you must build one shop this is very important <laughs> don't forget your shop guys and that's one shop only so if you're doing a gulpy be sure to theme around what what is it gulpy energy is it slushy is it soda well we want to see those colors incorporated into your ride and they match that shop 
and only one. Not all three Gulpies are allowed here. Uh, standard billboards and screens are allowed, however I will not be downloading custom files. So basically if you want to use a TV with an in-game planet coaster thing, you can go ahead and do that. If you want TVs for whatever reason and just leave them black, you're allowed to do that, but I will not be downloading custom images. No custom audio, so please do uh, attach a friendly suitable song from the Planko library. This is quite important, don't forget your music guys. You may use sequencers, fireworks, you can use animatronics and VFX, I highly encourage all that stuff. Use of no collision is also encouraged. Friction hacks are not allowed, we will not be entering any cheat codes. There is a friction setting option on the coasters though, you can tweak that as long as it saves with your blueprint. Uh, you may use any DLC items and judges may not participate in the contest. We have a submission form coming soon and for judging we will have a judges panel scoring the submissions this time to decide the final winners. There are enough submissions we will divide them into builder brackets as always that we should hopefully have about five or six brackets here. Judges will hopefully be myself, Chant, Floss, Wix and Web Searcher. This would actually be the most judges we've ever had on a contest with five. So lots of uh, points to be dished out there and much more uh, uh, refined judging score. Be aware that we are going to be writing these in test mode due to time constraints, so we'll not be letting guests on. Uh, scoring, let's break this down. So artistry, five points. We expect lots of detail put into the brute blueprint. Pretty self-explanatory. Your theming is five points. How well was your coaster themed around one shop? Did you incorporate proper colors from your shop. I think when you look at Hot Dog Squad, you see orange and black. We want to see that stuff incorporated in. When I look at it from a distance, I go, that's a Hot Dog Squad coaster. Uh, did you include subtle accessories of the shop? If you're doing a Hats Fantastic shop, did you incorporate it around a mage's tower? Is there a hat at the top? Or, you know, is there a wizard involved? Think about your accessories around your shop. Footprint. Two points. This is still important, but we, we don't want these gigantic, elaborate, humongous coasters, because if you only have 4K pieces, it's going to be hard to fill that. So we still are looking for that compactness. So was your 4K blueprint compact? Was it too big? We're seeing these gigantic forests in one big blueprint with the coaster going through. We're probably not going to give you two points. Um, shop design. We're giving you three points here. It's not the hero. Obviously the coaster and the theming is the hero here, but it's themed around what? A shop. So the shop has to be included and it's still worth three points. And with five judges, that's 15 points towards your shop. So pretty darn important. Uh, did you make a friend Friendly, vibrant and fun shop did you place it in a good position did you have a nice sign for it so these are kind of the things we're looking for you don't have to build me a giant pizza restaurant you can if you want we encourage it that'd be awesome maybe your pizza restaurant is incorporated into the boarding station and you go through the pizza shop to get to the ride you have things incorporated there so it would look like a restaurant people who place it down could put benches in it that's cool if you want to just have this cute little quaint hats fantastic shop outside and it's got a rock mound around it and it's got a hat on top and it's got little fairy things and it's all decorated and it's kind of like a one by one really nicely decorated shop that's fine too um, we're just looking to see how nice it was so put some thought into it you can go big you can go small it's not a whole lot of points but what's important is whatever you decide to make in the shop out front does your theme match it right so think about that and then of course coaster design did you make a nice smooth coaster experience did you have any bells and whistles on your coaster maybe some fireworks and something cool on the lift when we're going up the lift we see some lights or we see some you know something to give us some entertainment along the lift did you pick an appropriate coaster to play well with your theme this isn't too big but it is a kind of a nice thing you know like i said with the missy goods dunking diving dive coaster i think that's like a clever idea you don't have to get clever guys if you want to do a swinging mine train coaster around uh, chief beef i don't see the harm in that do whatever you feel uh, is fun and have fun with it but uh we we do want to see something clever and somehow integrated so just think about that and maybe you can get an extra point there. So between all those points, guys, that's 18 points all added up. Between five judges, that's a total of 90 points. So we should be able to, with this many judges, we should be able to refine things to a point where we're not getting too many ties. And then we have our prize pool. Boom, all these games. How many do we have? 227, technically, games. And I have just added a whole bunch of new games to the prize pool. I added a Dead Rising 4, Kerbal Space Program, Moon Hunter's Runer, Running with Rifles. Uh, we actually have a Planet Coaster Studios Pack DLC uh, donated in. I don't have the donator's name in this page. Maybe I can fix that. And uh, plenty more to come by the time this contest ends. I think I might have some more. But yeah, tons of games here. You guys can click the link yourself and look at them, obviously 
obviously the codes are hidden, but I have all of them. So boom, there it is. All right, guys. So at the time of this video, you probably are wondering what's going on with the video game coaster contest as uh, it ended technically a week ago. Uh, some stuff has been going on in my life right now, and I haven't started on the video game coaster videos. I'm hoping to get to them this week. So these will start rolling out now, but I did want to get a contest started so you guys have something to look forward to and get working on while I get started on the video game coaster contest so not to worry that it's still gonna happen and stay tuned for that boom so there it is everybody that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you all enjoy let me know what you think of the contest down in the comments below and i will see you all in the next one bye now <laughs>